Jack isn't back yet? No. Well, I left him at the bar and then went for a walk. Is he okay? I think so. Well, he has a lot to work through right now. Oh, so you heard, you know the truth. Yeah, he told me. And then he went out looking for you. Go get him, Julia. He needs you today. What happened, Dolores? Well, we talked about the good times, the bad times. He listened. You know, my baby, he wanted to apologize. He remembers all the little things, you know, all the good things, until everything got all messed up and confused. And Did he say when he was coming home? No, but don't worry about him. He's strong like his daddy. Listen, I'm going to go pack. My plane leaves in a few hours. Wait, you're leaving? Yeah, well, my boys don't need me here. <laughs> they need you more than ever. Why? So I can mess up their lives? So that you can help them work through this, Dolores. You are still their mother. Yeah, a mother who hadn't the guts to tell them the truth, so they ended up hating each other for years. I think I owe them a little peace. You do owe them. You do. But not like this. Not, not another disappearing act. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, so do I, and it stinks. Well, I, I just won't screw up their lives again. Well, That's... then don't. Oh, so I should stay and get in a car and run down somebody else they love. Merry Christmas, boys. I stop it. again. Stop it, Dolores. You know what I mean. Look, you're really a nice girl, Julia. But you can't fix it for Jack. Nobody can. You can. You know, I'm really glad he met you. Yeah, he needs somebody really good to love. Somebody who's gonna, he can trust. It's not gonna let him he down. He needs it's... his family. The newbie's family. He's so much like his dad. He's a good man. He would have liked Bert. He's the one who made Jack who he is, you know. So did you. Listen, you two don't need me around here underfoot. You know what? That's fine. That's just as good an excuse as any for walking out on him again. What do you want me to do? Stay around here and say something or do something that'll just mess them all up again? I don't think so. Just tell him I said goodbye. No. You want to leave, you say goodbye. He loves you. He, he has a heart full of memories, memories that can help him heal, but not without your help. It, it's too late. No. Jack loves you. Nothing has changed that. And I love him. I mean, he's still my little baby. But I'm afraid, Julia. I'm afraid I don't know how to be a mother. I'm afraid I've lost my two sons forever. See, the truth is, I came here looking for you. Why? Because it's important to me. All right? I, I, I don't want to leave things the way they are. Fine. Let me have it. Trust me, Jack, I'd love to blast you, but it's not going to do me any good. It'd make you feel better. Yeah, for about five minutes. Look, I was thinking about Christmas when we were kids. And there was this one Christmas where I got the hottest gift any kid could ask for. Well, what does that got to do with I'm going to talk, and you listen. I was about 13, I was Mr. Big Shot. Yeah, with the fuzz all over you. Yeah, I had the attitude to match, remember? Yeah. Now, do you remember what the folks gave me for Christmas that year? Uh, you're not gonna bring that up again. Yeah, you? yeah, it was the baddest stereo any guy yeah. could ever lay his eyes yeah, on. Yeah, the speaker's as big as Kansas. That's enough bass to blow out the neighbors. It was your basic model, but it was mine. <sighs> you thought you were it. I envisioned the cheerleaders dancing in the basement. Slow dances, make up parties. The man who would be king. Yeah, uh, that was my ticket to good times. And it was hands off to baby brother. So I go upstairs to get some records. And I uh, checked out your new toy. Mm -hmm. I guess I, I messed with the needle a you bit. You broke the it? arm off, Jack. I didn't mean to. I wanted to kill you. You tried. Yeah, I, I, I pushed you really hard into that tree and it toppled over on you. And 
ornaments went flying, and one of them broke, and it, it, it cut your arm. And, and you were crying so hard. Well, well, I don't remember crying. I remember bleeding really bad. I didn't give a damn about that stereo after that, Jack. I felt like crap. You were in so much pain. I can, I can still feel Dad pulling the shards of glass out of my arm. Yeah, I stayed and I watched him take out every last one. I would have given you my stereo if it would have taken away the pain. I wanted to trade places with you. No, I deserved it. No, Jack, you didn't. You see, I was getting off on being the big brother and bossing you around and telling you what to do and how you should do it. Just like every other big brother. But you grew up. You see, and I didn't stop to notice. The night of the accident, I took over. I decided I knew what to do. I decided I knew it was best for everybody, for mom, for you. I decided that you couldn't handle the truth, so I should cover it up. And look, you protected her. But it won't come you. It could have gotten ugly for her, Brad, especially with Frank in the picture. And Big Brother could not let that happen. See, I, I, I shoved your side, and I was treating you like you were still that little brat on Christmas morning. Hey, Jack, I shut you out. I swear to you, Jack, I am never gonna do that again. So what the hell has Brad done now? Nothing. Ever since the engagement this party... This isn't about you, Brad. You just told me. There's no bad guy here, Ben. So what's wrong? Brad came here tonight. He said goodbye to me. He, he accepts our marriage. We don't need Brad's acceptance. He knows how much I love you. Did he come here and tell you he loves you? Is that why you're doing all this? I let this go too far. Because of Brad? Yes. Camille, this is our wedding. Our future, our life. You don't cancel all that because you feel sorry for Brad Snyder. I don't. I told you that this was all one-sided. That I didn't care for Brad, but I do care for Brad more than just his friend. Ben, I love him too.